The five panel test and 10 panel drug test have been around for a long time. But now more than ever, we're seeing requests for specialty testing that include other drugs, specifically different opioids, but also tests that don't include certain drugs. So stay tuned as we talk about some of the special test panels that we're seeing today. So quite often we see marijuana in the news about a lot of different things. So we always get the, the, uh, the request for information about should I include marijuana in the testing or should I not? And we actually have a video on that. But this video is gonna focus on what you can and can't do in testing. So one of the questions we get is, can you have a test that does not test for marijuana? And the course is yes. You can have any kind of test panel that you want. What we're seeing more and more now is expanded opioid testing, which is in the hydrocodone, hydromorphone, oxycodone, oxymorphone, including those. But we actually have situations where people wanna test for things beyond that, whether it's employment testing, substance abuse testing, parents testing children, those types of things. And that's things like fentanyl, which is really big and responsible for about 48,000 or around that of the 70,000 overdoses in 2017. So that's something that we're seeing making its way into different test panels. We're also seeing things like tramadol, something that wasn't scheduled several years ago and then now is an actual scheduled drug. We also see testing for suboxone um, or buprenorphine and other test panels. All of these can be tested for, but what you have to decide is, what is it you're trying to accomplish? Is it something specific you're looking for? Or are you looking for a general category of drugs? Something else we get quite often is people asking for specific cutoff levels in the different drugs that are being tested. So there's some that are fairly standard, but there are contract agreements, labor agreements, where they have specific cutoff levels listed in the contracts. Or there might be state programs, such as for a workers' compensation discount, um, like in Florida or one of seven or eight other states, that specify specific cutoff levels for drugs. All of these can be done. So when you're looking to do testing, you need to be talking with someone who can answer those questions for you, and they can also offer those different test panels to meet the specific needs for what you're trying to accomplish. So you can find out more on our YouTube channel. Make sure you subscribe there. You can see lots of videos on everything from drug testing, alcohol testing, marijuana, trends in drugs, to anything you can think of about drug testing, to our blog on our NDS blog at nationaldrugscreening.com, where you can sign some great video blogs as well as articles um, from people that are experts in the industry. So make sure you tune into our next video where we help keep you informed on what's going on related to drug testing.